Position traveling the world for gold Some baddies made of plastic and some other things I love Won't you come along with me, there's no time for rejection Hold on tight, such a delight, it's Brian's Wrestling Collection Collection Me, 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 me Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian Hardy, and this is another episode of Brian's Wrestling Collection, and today, well, it's been like two weeks, my computer's been down, so I thought I'd just show you around and show you some of the cool stuff that I've got in, and then we'll just go from here. Alright, so first off, I uh, did a little cool trade ski on one of my pay-per-view event chairs. I was able to get this in this week. Uh, this is Backlash 2016, uh, same Backlash that had my backstage promo with AJ Styles. So it was cool, I was able to get the event chair, and uh, thanks to Second Chance Toys for making that possible and helping me out with that. And uh, yeah, let's check out some other stuff. So I'm definitely all over the place because I told you guys that I have three different computers, so there's my recording computer here's my book computer picture of my wife holding one of my guitars um, my book computer all my book writing takes place on this uh, that's my recording computer and then back over that way on that desk over there all the way over here where's that where's that boom that's the computer where all the magic happens with uh Brian's wrestling collection and all those other shows that I edit and stuff so anyway uh, while we're on the topic of new stuff wait let's go back to this desk real fast so Robin Mr. Freeze and Batman were found out the other day at Big Lots I couldn't just get Mr. Freeze which was the first thing that actually caught my eye but I had to grab that up so that's non-wrestling related but got to get Batman just like anytime you see Masters of the Universe stuff you just got to pick up the Masters of the Universe stuff all right what else we got going on over here all right so this week we added Kurt Henning Bret Hart the giant and Diamond Dallas page to my WCW OSFTM mock collection I don't even think I showed this to anybody yet but this is a cool signed Tatanka Legends figure that I got from IPO Sports Marketing. Uh, it was signed at the Baltimore Celeb Fest, so that's pretty awesome. There's the stunning Steve Austin that I talked about on my podcast this week that I snagged up. And then these WrestleMania figures, I talk about them on my podcast this week too. Which honestly, I mean the Goldberg's cool, China's cool with Rocco, it's a build a Paul Ellering. Um, Edge. I mean that's cool and honestly that right there is the reason that I even wanted any of these figures right there Shawn Michaels look at that it's like I, I believe that's the Wrestlemania 9 outfit right there so that's awesome so I guess him and Tatanka will have to uh, have a match so. okay guys so we hopped in the uh, Mick Foley mobile as I like to call it aka my minivan that's falling apart and um, we are on our way to Second Chance Toys in Glen Burnie, Maryland, which is one of my favorite toy shops around here. I have two, but this is one of my favorite toy shops around here. And uh, the owner, John, is always awesome, so maybe we can uh, talk to him today for a second or two.
Hardy, Brian's Wrestling Collection, and today I am at Second Chance Toys in Glen Burnie, Maryland, one of my most favorite toy stores ever, and I am here with the owner of the toy store, Mr. John Cook. John, tell me, man, what made you want to even be a toy store owner? Love it, the passion. Uh, grew up uh, wanting more and more toys, never had them as a kid because we lived kind of poor. And as I got older, uh, being in my face and seeing them, you know, just wanted more out of it. Love what I do. Wouldn't change a darn thing. You got everything in this store, man. You got Masters of the Universe. You got G.I. Joe, which your sign off front is the logo that kind of is a little parody off G.I. Joe. You yes, got sir. wrestling figures, pop vinyls, everything like that. This is your, what is this, your second location? Third. Third location. Yes. So where did you start at? We started up at North Point uh, about 10 years ago and uh, stayed there for about four or five years. Uh, we were in Lenticum for three. Now we've been here a little bit over three, going on four. So awesome, yeah. dude. If you guys are ever in the Glen Burnie area, you got to come check this place out. John's awesome. Real fast, tell me your favorite item in this entire store right now. Favorite item in here is going to be LJN Wrestlers. LJN Wrestlers, man. Yep. I got a second you on that one. That's pretty awesome. Yep. My so, favorite thing. This is John Cook. Hit up Second Chance Toys on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and be sure to stop by the place. It's the hottest toy store in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Take care, man. Second Chance Toys, Glen Burnie, Maryland. Be sure to stop by, check it out, say hi to John. Good times, always good times here. All right, we just uh, got another package in the mail. So I figured we would probably unbox it, unbag it on uh, Brian's Wrestling Collection. And this is from uh, Plymouth, Minnesota. So wonder what is inside. We're going to figure it out. Up, oh, up. Oh. Look at that. What a rush. It is the Road Warriors. They're on a Zuba shirt. The Legion of Doom. Dare to be different. Zubas, baby. Oh! The classic black and whites. Gotta make sure the people in my house know not to stick them in with red shirts because that's what happened to it last time. Man, the classic black and whites, love it. The purple and whites, they are awesome. Yeah, woo! And last but not least, this was a uh, last minute find on here. This is a part of my Father's Day gift from my wife and my kids, along with the cool shirts that I got from Wrestling Superstore. So I had to get some Zubas, and to qualify for free shipping on their website, you have to spend $50 or more. Well, I was just like a few dollars under, and I saw that this was on sale, so I absolutely had to snag it up because he passed away. So this is going to be cool to have up in the studio. This is a Road Warrior animal mask, which obviously he never really wore a mask, but this is a kind of a way to pay tribute to him so that's really awesome i'm gonna go and get a uh, another styrofoam head from sally's beauty supply and stick this mask up there with my other masks so what a rush okay so i just got home from second chance toys in Glen Burnie, maryland and honestly found a couple cool things today the first of which was a one two three kid bendham figure uh which was awesome so I'm going to give that a fig bath, and that'll be good to go. The second thing, I feel really cool and weird and everything all at the same time, to dabble back into Star Wars figures. Um, this is Kenner from 1997, and uh, this is really what I grew up on. So here's a Han Solo figure right there, and... There's a stormtrooper, and I'm going to continue buying these figures, and I'm going to let them breathe and put them with uh, the other Star Wars stuff that I have. My wife just freaked out and was like, no, you don't need to be collecting anything else. You already do Masters of the Universe, and you already do wrestling and stuff. Like, you don't need anything else, but I need a little Star Wars in my life. So 
Only these Kenner figures for sure. Uh, nothing crazy, but this was a good day at the toy store. So, until next time, guys, this is Brian Hardy, and you were watching another episode of Brian's Wrestling Collection. See you. I just love my action figures Red clothes in Hasbro's Galoops, Mexico and Japan I just love my action figures I still crack the legs in